Hi everyone, and welcome to a new vlog. So today, it's gonna be mainly me today because Helena is uh, working quite a long day today. Still here at the moment, so you may see her before she goes out to work. Um, so yeah, working the day in the park, and then once park closes, rehearsing for the show, which is so excited. It's gonna be opening next week. I'm really looking forward, because I've been hearing about it, but you know, I haven't seen anything. So I'm, I'm really excited to, to pop along at some point and go and see that. So you may notice that on my fingers, I've got plasters. And the reason is, um, as part of my job, I get some um, medical insurance and you get to do some free tests, basically. And so, um, but they, they can't do them anywhere at the moment. So you have to do them from home. So I, sorry if you're a bit squeamish, I had to take some, some blood. So that's why uh, my fingers are a bit like that. But yeah, it, it went well. And the person on the other end of the the Microsoft Teams chat was just so lovely. But there was one bit where <laughs> I had to stand up because I was, I was originally on this table here in the middle of the room and it was too low. So I needed to move to a different table. So I moved to the table behind me here, but I didn't, I didn't adjust the, the camera on the computer. So I moved over there and then the person who was on the other end was just left staring at our bookshelf, <laughs> just looking at, looking at the David Tennant potato head, looking at baby Yoda, and then looking at Woody. But it was good, it was a good conversation starter, because she had to repeat herself quite a, a lot of times to, in order for me to do the thing correctly, and to like check up on me. So that was a good conversation starter, just asking about uh, who was on the shelf. <laughs> But then eventually I did, I moved the camera so that she could see that I was, I was doing the thing correctly. But yeah, I am currently, I'm being a bit late with this. I'm editing the reacting video for uh, today, which goes out at four o'clock. So I'm nearly there. The good thing about the reactive videos is uh, they're quite easy to edit. The only thing is, and this is a little bit of an inside trick, in order to sync it up, I always make sure that at some point during the footage, I hum along or sing along to something in the video so that I know that it syncs up. <laughs> That's my little trick if you're ever doing like these types of videos and you want to really get it, get the sync good, is to just sing along or hum along to something that's that's in the video. And then I also popped by the PO box before when I was sending off my uh, test samples and I've picked up from the P.O. Box, I believe these are the Slinker Dog badges that we've been waiting for. They've been on pre-order on the Etsy store. So I'm now going to open these up. I'll show you how they come. And then I'll be writing uh, the pre-orders out today and then sending them off. So they should be arriving with you soon. But these are now in stock fully on the Etsy store. So I'll take away the pre-order uh, from the, the title of the product on the Etsy store. You can get those get those now. And then today I was thinking I will update you on how the uh, Lego Aston Martin has has been going. I have loved, more than I thought, I have loved putting together this Lego model. I've not, I've not done like Lego since I was a kid and I have just been obsessed with building this thing. Every night, once I've finished, because I've been working till five o'clock uh, the past week, every day, when I've finished, I've been working on this Aston Martin, and I'm nearly there. <laughs> I was worried because it's an expert on the box, but it's been going really well, and helda has been surprised with how quick it's been getting put together, uh, coming back from work, and then I've been like, excited kid, showing her how it uh, operates, and all the little uh, movement bits that it's got to it, which I'll, I'll show you later on. But I've loved it. It's a bit of a worry though how much I've loved it, because it does entice me to get a few more things. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll complete this first and then we'll, we'll see how we go from there. And I just want to say a massive thank you for all of the special uh, birthday messages that you sent me as well. Uh, that really meant a lot. So yeah, it's day in a life vlog, and I better get back to editing this video. It's currently 10 to 11, I wanna get this out of the way so then I can free myself up to do some other stuff. Hi everyone! 
I'm so sorry I'm not going to be in this vlog. I might try and pop on at the end um, just because I have a few exciting things to show you wedding wise. Um, but if not, it will probably be in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to head out. I've got a long day of work and then I've got rehearsals as well. So I'm in for quite a long day. I'm not going to get back till about half ten. Um, so yeah, you're just with Martin today. Did you pick up your lunch on the fridge? No, is there a lunch in the fridge for me? Yeah, from uh, last night's gusto. Ah, yes. Uh, leftover gusto is the <laughs> best lunch. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show my face. And yeah, I will definitely be in the next vlogs. Uh, but Martin is going to show you some Lego, I think. I was saying that you've been impressed with how it's been coming on. So quick. Anyway, I'm running late, so I better go. <laughs> So I've just opened the packaging, so we've got the badges inside uh, this and <laughs> whenever we used to get them delivered to our actual uh, flat, the person that was delivering them always thought that they'd broken them. <laughs> thought that there was something inside that was valuable and that was broken and would always say, uh, I think, I, I think it might be, might be smashed. And then I would have to just say, oh no, it's fine. They're just, they're just badges. <laughs> well, let's open them. There they are, slinky dogs. So something that's very important is we need to do a stock check. We need to make sure that there are the amount in this as we ordered, because we don't want to be uh, without any, because we, we put the amount we've got on the uh, Etsy store. But then sometimes there's also, maybe, sometimes you, you get just a couple extra. Um, and I'm not sure why that is, but um, yeah, let's let's have a look, let's count them. Sorry that my laptop sounds like it's going to take off, it's just rendering files. <laughs> uh, but we have the full 50. So we've got them all. So I think what I'll do now is I'll write out the pre-ordered ones. So I've just had some lunch and I actually I want to go out for a walk to try and do my 10,000 steps but it is so dark outside. I'm just worried it's going to chuck it down. But I might venture out anyway and just risk it because uh, I've got to post the badges. And yeah, I just want to get my steps in. But before I go out, uh, I want to show you the progress of the Lego Aston Martin. So I've done three stages so far. There's four stages that are listed in the instruction booklet. And so yeah, I've just got stage four to do and then it's complete. And so this is how it currently looks. So obviously it hasn't got the wheels on yet and it hasn't got the roof or the boot or the bonnet. From it being Lego, it's just incredible. There's labels that you have to stick on. The only thing is I can't get them perfectly straight, but I'm not gonna let that <laughs> bug me too much. <laughs> and then if we turn it this way, let's see, you've got doors. The doors actually open. Uh, inside, we've got, this is the, the satellite navigation that he has in the film when he's trying to track Goldfinger. Then we've got this gear stick, which has the ejector seat button on the top, but I'll have to show you what else that does in a second. Now this bit here is, this is going to be the ejector seat, but I haven't finished off doing that. There's still a few bits that need connecting in order for it to work. So that's just what is there at the moment. You've got these Lego pieces here that look like the lights, and you've got these uh, metal bits that shine. I'm just over the moon with how it's looking. So there's one more thing that I need to show you, and that's to do with the lights. So if you keep your, your eyes peeled on the lights down here, got the gear stick, push the gear stick back. <laughs> and it's the guns at the front. Q's gadgets. They flick backwards and forwards. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And then I think I said in the vlog where I got the, the Lego, I think I said I was going to watch some James Bond films while I built it, and I actually have been. I think the first night I watched Skyfall, then uh, the next night I watched Goldfinger. So I'll have to watch another one while I do the final stage. Helena was actually showing me the other day that they're bringing out the, uh, the Friends set 
like, <laughs> like this whole thing uh, of Lego. I think it's the apartment. It's uh, Chandler and Joey's apartment as well, and it looks pretty epic. Um, but yeah, we were looking through some different ones the other day. I, I think it would be cool to have the Hogwarts castle. Because we love walking in at, at the studios uh, in Watford. And we love walking in and seeing the castle. So you could have almost that <laughs> that sort of thing. But in Lego form. we have to wait until we get a new house and have a, a room dedicated to it. And play the music. And then you can walk in with like special lighting. Maybe I'm going overboard. Um, and of course it would be great to build the Disney castle. But they are on the pricey side. So <laughs> might hold off and uh, and see what sort of cheaper things we can get. I must admit, I do like the cars. Okay, I think we're gonna brave it. Let's go out for a walk and then come back and then we've got bits and pieces to do. Got to do some tidying and also uh, I want to play a bit of the Avengers game. I was playing that last night. I'm really enjoying it. I got chased by the Hulk and that was like, <laughs> so, ah! <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna nip out, post the badges. Uh, I like walking into Windsor and I like walking along uh, the river where all the swans are. So we might do that. And I might pop into that Daniel shop. Not to buy anything, just, <laughs> just to have a look. Because the last time I went in there was before Christmas and I remember being like, this shop is amazing. Okay, definitely not the best idea. It is chucking it down and I've been walking in it for some time. <laughs> but we're here. <laughs> I'm loving the juxtaposition of the weather and then this shop window, <laughs> which just screams summer. Got all these different types of bath ducks. Spider-Man, there's different superheroes. I think that's Thor, that one. <laughs> Is that, that's, that's Groot. You got Monopoly, Royal Windsor edition. And then look what's on the front! Daniel! So they got so many different sections inside this shop and here's the music section and I'm here at the vinyls and I've spotted this! The great movie sounds of John Barry. That's tempting. Here's the swans, and then joining the swans, you've got the duck tour! We did that for Helena's birthday last year. If you haven't seen that vlog, we can put it in the description. It's such a cool thing! Drive around Windsor for a bit, and then you go in the water. But these swans now, they, they all gather here, because I think this is where, this is prime feeding location. I was saying to Helena the other day, this is definitely my favorite walk to go on. I just like being by water. Maybe that's just because of Newcastle and the fact that we're able to get close to the seaside, the beach. I know this isn't a beach, but being by the water, you just get, you just automatically feel relaxed. And then I love watching the swans. <laughs> They've just been fed down here by two people. I'm scared to go down here, but I want to continue my walk. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> Is this anybody's worst nightmare? I mean, there's pigeons, ducks, swans, all sorts. I made it past them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the pigeons don't move until you get like really really close to them and then they fly off now they're all following me having them swim by me like this reminds me of those awkward moments where you say bye to a friend and then you don't realize that they're walking the same way as you <laughs> so you just end up walking next to each other even though you've just said bye so i came walking along here the other day and i noticed like off in the distance as i was approaching all these tents were set up and it looked like a film crew, and it was. Uh, but there was nobody like stopping anybody walking past, and so I got quite close, 
all the action was happening here in the center and then I was literally just walking up along here past the sound people and the director who had it on a monitor and I presume it's a TV series it was Greg Davies the host of Taskmaster and then also the head teacher in the in-betweeners he was the only one that I recognized but yeah they were shooting a scene which was quite quite cool as I walked past I did try and get a picture but it was on the phone so it was, <laughs> it was quite blurry but yeah it was a bit of excitement when I came out for my walk. I always think this is cute when you see a family. And the parents just stand in guard. I enjoyed that little walk and it didn't rain. <laughs> Glad I went into Daniel beforehand because otherwise I would have just totally skipped out this part of the walk and just headed straight back but yeah that was really nice there was actually there was a swan that was nesting but I didn't want to get too close because I didn't want to scare it um, but what they do is they put up like a cordon around it so that you can't get too close to it and then it also has some like rules on how to uh, not affect the swan <laughs> like don't feed it because it'll uh, attract predators and that sort of thing so they really, really do take care of them and they get so much food because um, there are signs around saying that you can feed them, just not when they're nesting uh, in certain places. Yeah, always nice to see the swans. Now I'm going to start my walk back. So I'll check in with you when I get back to the flat. So I've just got back. I worked in a bit of a sweat because I had uh, like my sports jacket underneath uh, a big jacket because it was raining when I went out and then as I was walking back it was glorious sunshine so it was really hot but I've just got back uh, and now I'm gonna tell you the kitchen and I better do it now because it's nearly four o'clock and if I don't do it now I'm not gonna do it I was tempted to play some of the Avengers first but I say I'll play on there for half an hour and about in an hour's time I'll be like oh <laughs> I can't be bothered to clean the kitchen so I'm gonna do it now Cleaned the kitchen, and then now my reward for cleaning the kitchen <laughs> is going on to the Avengers. So, it's, it's been really good uh, playing as Miss Marvel at the moment, but it swaps around who you're playing as. So I think on this next level I'm going to be playing as the Hulk, or Bruce Banner to start with. I imagine he's going to turn into the Hulk at some point. <laughs> So that was a good level. That was just Hulk smash. <laughs> just the whole of it. Uh, there was just so many things coming at you. It was just a lot of button bashing, which uh, I enjoy because it, it doesn't, I don't have to remember a lot of the different controls. <laughs> uh, but now I am going to jump on the exercise bike. I'm nearly at my 10,000 steps um, and this will add to it. I think this will take me over the 10,000. Might have had a cheeky bath. I was tempted when I went to Daniel, they had these different bath bombs and there was a bath bomb with a little robot <laughs> built into it at the top. And I was tempted, but I didn't. Um, yeah, so we in the shower and now I'm gonna make some food, but we don't have a gusto. So it is back to what we normally make, pasta. It's gonna be tuna pasta. And then I got some bread here and some garlic cloves to use up, so might try and create some some garlic bread. And then I think I'm gonna watch a James Bond film because I'm gonna, while the pasta's cooking, I might, I don't know, I might wait till after so I can solely concentrate on it. So serious. Uh, I'm gonna watch a James Bond film. I think I'm gonna go with Thunderball. Uh, mainly because I saw that John Barry, <laughs> the John Barry LP in Daniel and I just thought, mm, yeah, Thunderball was on there. <laughs> All right, stage four. I don't know if I'm gonna get it done. It's five to nine. And I 
tend to stop when Helena gets back. Well, but I don't know. There's only two packets. For the other stages, there's been about three or four packets. But for this, so we've got a little pack of Lego bits here, and then a bigger pack of Lego bits here, and then in a separate one, we've got the tyres, and then you've got the stickers, so the different things that you need to put on the model to make it look authentic. Uh, and now I just need the manual. So if I have a look and just see. Let's see how long this. Uh, this bit's going to have a few movable bits to it. So. Okay, we're at step 189. So this is where we're going to pick it up from. And I think the first bit we're going to do is. Yeah, we're going to do the bonnet. Let's do it. It is now 10 past 11. So I worked hard to complete the Aston Martin and I have completed it. It's done! <laughs> I did not think I would finish it this quick and Helena was like, no, it's meant to last you longer! <laughs> but I just couldn't help myself, I just got addicted to doing it and I just wanted to see the completed article. Um, Helena is uh, just getting ready for bed. She's had a long day and she's quite tired so she's not going to be in the end of this vlog but she has promised to show you the shoes uh, the next time we vlog uh, her wedding shoes. But I'm going to finish this vlog by showing you the completed article, the Aston Martin. Here we have your new car, the Aston Martin DB5, with all modifications. Here it is! So I'm going to talk you through the different features. So as you notice here with the wheels, so this is optional, so I haven't done it on this one. Um, so you've got the blades, uh, and if you've seen the film you'll know that they move in and out so they're retractable uh, so they're in here but then this is an option that you can do you could have them out so if there was a car driving past you could cut into it and then what you can do is you can take this off and then you can store it in the boot and then have it like this so while I have it on display I'll just have it like this with just these blades there you have the boot and you've got the just like you have on the front you've got the revolving number plates and then you've got the boot, so the boot opens and then if we move it slightly forward, so here on the bottom you've got the exhaust, if I do this hand, so if you twizzle this the bulletproof screen appears to deflect all the bullets. I'll put that back to JB007 and then there's like these little stickers here, so that says uh, DB5, there you go, a bit closer. So then you've got this door, open this up, pull that down, you've got his phone, and then if we go a bit closer, if you have a look inside there, it's even got dials. So if we go around here at the front, you've got the number plate, the changes. It's not as smooth, it does catch on something, but it does still rotate. There you go. And then if I go to the gear stick on the inside, there you go. And then this is the bonnet, they lift that up, and there's the engine. So this is what it looks like, the way I'm looking at it. I'm so chuffed with it, such a great present. And then there's another sticker there. And then we go inside, and then you got the sat nav that you can move around. Close that door, and then I think there's just one more thing to show you. For this demonstration, I've enlisted the help of Olivia. So we're gonna get Olivia to sit inside the car. Thank you, Olivia. I can't get over that feature. I was, for, for all of the build, I was like, 
how does the ejector seat work? And I hadn't put two and two together. I didn't realise that it was what I'd put on the back. Because once I'd finished building it, I was like, well, where is it? How do I get to it? Have I done something wrong? But it's this bit here. So it's like false. And then you pull that back. Let me show you. So it's this bit here. And what you do is you pull that back and then that opens the roof. And then you let go and then that's when the chair comes out. Now Olivia, I'm trusting you to bring all of the equipment back to Q Branch in pristine condition, including this. So yeah, Aston Martin DB5 complete. I have loved making that. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's just been so nice to do something different than just, you know, even though I had the TV on, I wasn't really focused on what was happening on TV. I was like so invested in just building this and I didn't look at my phone and just completely switched off from everything and, and, and worked on it. So there we go. I finished it and it's going to sit somewhere. I don't know where. But it's going to be one of those cool things that I get down and I'm like, do you want to have a go at the ejector seat? But I better get to bed now because it's 25 to 12 and I've got work tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, that's all from us for now. If you've liked this video, then make sure you hit like and also subscribe to the channel. We've got tons of videos coming up. Uh, some very exciting uh, day trips out as well coming over the next few weeks. So keep your eyes peeled. And we will see you next time. Toodle Poopski! Really wish I could get into this car.